Hello students, today you're going to take Cornell notes, the title is Fluids and Pressure. Just like always, it's just digital. Um, make sure you write the notes on the right. You have to make up your questions on the left because it's a video. And then a summary here at the bottom and an advanced question over here. And then if the video is going too fast, you can just pause it and then catch up and then push play whenever you're ready. Okay, let's begin. So, the first idea is this of a fluid. Most people think fluid, they think a liquid, but actually a fluid is any material that can flow and has um, no shape and it takes the shape of its container. So air is considered and water is also considered a fluid. And there's many fluids. So when you're walking around, even here in our, in our classroom, you're walking through a fluid. On the left, I'll help you out with the first one, but I'm not going to type it up. You can write uh, what is a fluid or what is an example of a fluid. Go ahead and use either one of those. All right, let's move on to number two. Pressure. Pressure is a force exerted over a given area. For example, if you're like swimming at a pool, you feel more pressure in your ears. That's why it feels weirder when you're at the bottom of the pool than at the top of the pool. So fluids um, have pressure or, uh, yeah, it's known as exerting pressure. And um, we've noticed that um, with depth, pressure increases usually. All right, go ahead and finish up this definition for pressure. And then make up your own question for two. Moving on to three. For number three, write all fluids produce pressure. And that pressure can have all kinds of uh, impacts. The way things boil, the way things evaporate, or even su sublimate. All this is because of the different pressure that comes with being in a fluid. So um, all fluids produce the pressure, and then pressure increases with how much depth you are. And if you are somewhere that's higher, you have less pressure. So if you would be up here, the top of the bottle, imagine it's a swimming pool instead of a bottle, then it would be, of course, less pressure. And this affects us too because we live in a fluid, an atmosphere, and that affects us as well, which we'll talk more about um, next time. All right, go ahead and come up with a question for three. And then moving on to the last idea. Okay, for number four. The reason bubbles are round is because of the pressure within the fluid. So bubbles, you see, mostly they're round. I mean, they can kind of misshape as they move in through the fluid. But usually, of course, a bubble is a gas trapped in a um, liquid. But it, it can also be uh, two different fluids uh, with different densities. But they're circular because of the pressure between gravity and, of course, the pressure within the fluid. So that's why they have this round shape. Okay, when you're done writing the definition for four, go ahead and think of a question for four on the left-hand side. And then make your four sentence summary and your advanced questions. When you're done, move on to the next step on the blog. Have a great day.